Hello friends, welcome to my channel Katha Mantan. Today I am going to tell you one of the two great epics in India named Mahabharata. Originally it was written in Sanskrit by Maharishi Ved Vyas about 5000 years ago. Mahabharata is not merely a religious book, rather it is a treasure trove of knowledge containing political philosophy as well philosophy of our life itself. The great scripture Srimad Bhagavad Gita is the product of this war. This story has been prepared with attractive features so that our young listeners would enjoy listening it. We sincerely believe that the listeners will like and appreciate our efforts. So, our story begins with the story of Shantanu. Long time ago, there lived a king named Shantanu. He was the ruler of a large kingdom whose capital was Hastinapur. He was a great warrior and famous for his wisdom. The kingdom of the Kuru, King Shantanu, was a symbol of property. Business and commerce, peace and prosperity, art and literature were all at their peak during his rule. One day, while hunting in the forest, the king happened to reach the river Ganga. He got down from his chariot to take a stroll in the cool breeze. Suddenly, his eyes fell on a lovely maiden who was coming out of the river water. King Shantanu's heart was struck by the divine beauty of the maiden. It was a love at first sight. The maiden came to the river bank. King Shantanu went to her and said, O oh, lovely maiden, who are you? Why should I reveal my identity to a stranger? Why do you want to know about me? asked the damsel. At this, Shantanu replied, I have just fallen in love with you. Your matchless beauty and charm have captured my heart. Will you marry me? Being equally attracted to King Shantanu, the maiden replied, I will marry you, but only on one condition. King Shantanu exclaimed, What is that condition? Let me know. The damsel replied, I am Ganga the goddess of this beautiful river. I have come down to the earth for accomplishing a mission. So, when I am married, I must be absolutely free to do what I like. At no stage will you ever question my actions. I shall stay as your wife as long as you abide by this rule or else I will go back to my abode. King Shantanu was rather surprised to hear such a strange condition, but he thought for a while and accepted it. In due course, they were married. Little later, they departed to the palace in the king's chariot. Everything was going fine and they were leading a happy life. Some time later, Queen Ganga became pregnant. When the baby was born, King Shantanu's joy knew no bounds. He immediately went to the queen's chamber and saw the queen taking the newborn baby out of the palace. He immediately thought of questioning her, but then he remembered the condition. He quietly followed her. The queen went to the bank of the river Ganga and drawn the baby. King Shantanu was shocked beyond words, but he was helpless. As time passed, the queen was blessed by another child, but this child was also drawn in a similar manner, and then another, and another. As soon as the child born, the queen would carry the child to the river and return to the palace empty-handed. The king heart was ripped apart to see all this. He was worried about who would be the heir of Guru dynasty.
if all his offspring were drawn like that despite all these he couldn't question her action for fear that she might leave in all other respects she proved to be a very good wife after some time she gave birth to her eighth child as usual she marched towards the river to dawn to draw on this child this story ends here thank you children for watching my channel in my next episode i will tell you the story of the return of devrata thank you children thank you for watching my channel katha mantan if you like our video please share and subscribe thank you and bye